Hello everyone, welcome back to Coxie Tutorials. It's been a fair while guys and I've just jumped back into this project for the first time in a long time. I've just been sussing out what we've done and uh, what we should probably do for this or for this tutorial. So basically I was just looking at the scripts we've done and what the way I've um, put this tutorial together or the way I intend to make this tutorial is just to come straight into the project and just make it up as we go. The code and everything like that is just going to be written straight off the top of my head and I'm going to make lots of mistakes and I'm going to do things that's going to, you know, make seasoned coders cringe and, you know, I don't care. Basically, I'm going to do it this way because I think it's really important that when you're learning how to write code that you see mistakes being made and you see why things aren't working the way we want them to work and then you know you see how we can fix them because I'm definitely not the greatest coder in the world and I'm going to make a lot of mistakes and I'm going to do things you know as I said not the way that professional coders would do them that's for sure there's a lot you know there's hundreds of different ways to do the same thing when you're making a game and you're writing the code so yeah just keep that in mind guys there's always going to be people commenting that think they know better and you know they're going to question why we do things this way and that I don't really care about that it's just you know we're just going to do it how we do it and work it out as we go along and hopefully I can you know teach you guys something that um, helps you you know build the game that you want to build Anyway, disclaimer out the way, where we left off last time, we actually had this zombie attacking the player, I believe, and we could shoot this zombie and kill him. So, I, I just played the game before, and I realised when we shoot the zombie, you can't actually tell where you're hitting the zombie. I was going to add this in a while ago, so what we're going to quickly do is just make it so he gets like a little mark where we shoot him and some blood you know kind of sprays outside and um, we're just going to do it really simply so if you open up your um, pistol script which will be on your player's uh, first person character and on the pistol uh, if you double click on your pistol script there you'll open up your pistol script and down here somewhere yeah here we have this um, shoot function and Basically, we're shooting a ray cast. It's um, within a certain range that we define, and um, it hits the uh, enemy, well, the uh, game object with a tag enemy. And then we basically get hold of the enemy's um, health script, and we take away the uh, damage. So we could use this because we're already we already know that we're hitting the enemy here. So we can just instantiate a um, hit particle and if you guys have already got this pack that we got for the um, shell casing coming out of the pistol you'll have all of these as well I've shown in a couple of the tutorials where to actually get these you just get it free off the app um, asset store and yeah so we're going to use uh, let's have a look yeah we've got a bullet impact here it's a small one, and we've also got, oh, that's to hit metal. Uh, yeah, that's a big flesh one. So this is a big one, and this is a little one. So you can use whichever one of these uh, you want. So go back into your pistol script, and uh, this is going to be real easy. So we've got uh, weapon effects here. We may as well just put it here. Just, um, just say blood effect or damage effect, whatever you want to call it. So blood effect and uh, just do a public game object blood effect. So we've got that and now all we need to do is come down here and we can just put it here and we can just say instantiate blood effect and the place that we actually want to instantiate it, or the place you want this blood to spawn, is where this ray actually hits the enemy. So we can say uh, hit dot point. 
So that's the point that we want the, the blood to uh, be shown or the little uh, damage effect. And then we can just say, because uh, we need a rotation as well, that's the position it's going to hit. So the rotation can just be uh, quaternion.identity, which is just the rotation of the, uh, well, of the place we're hitting, basically. Uh, you can see it there. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, just control S to save that. And now we need to put our little particle in our script. We should have a slot here. There we go, blood effect. So I'll just grab this one. Don't know which one it is. Apply the uh, prefab so it all goes uh, nicely. And I'll just control S and save the actual um, scene as well. If we go into the game now, we should. Yeah. So wherever we're shooting him, we're uh, getting a little effect. Ah, okay. So we can still keep killing the enemy after we kill him, so we need to fix that as well. And um, with this blood effect, <clears throat> um, you'll have a decal destroyer script already attached to it. I've got mine set on uh, point 0.2, so I want mine to disappear pretty quickly. This is how long it will be in the scene before it destroys itself. So you can set that to whatever you want, and uh, obviously you can <clears throat> use whatever effect you want, and yeah, you can make it a lot better than what I did. So. One of the things too with our enemy is because he's got such a big collider on him like this, um, when we're shooting, like if you shot him here, it'd be registering that you hit the body, so you'd have a blood effect here. So we need to actually, you know, you can actually make your colliders nice and neat and actually try to get it to mold to his body um, as closely as possible. Because at the moment, if we shot here, because it's hitting his collider, it'd still register as taking damage and a blood effect would come out of here even though it's not you know, in the game it doesn't look like we've actually shot him, if you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, you generally have your collider as close to the shape of the body as possible, or use a number of colliders, but, you know, I don't really care about that for now. Just get it working. Um, yeah, we need to fix that um, issue where he can keep dying. So in our enemy health, what do we got? Yeah, so this is where we deduct health. So we need to make sure before we take health that he is, um, we need to know whether he's dead or not. I seem to remember doing something like that. I thought we did have a, a boolean to say whether he was dead. I can't remember, but oh well. We can make another one. And um, how will we do this? We'll just do a uh, um, public bool is enemy dead we can just leave it like that it'll be set to um, false by default and then we can just say here uh, if is enemy dead if he is not dead we want to damage him and if he's dead well we don't want to damage him at all so, down here, we want to say that he's actually dead. Okay, so this gets called here. If our health is less than or equal to zero, we call this function that he's dead. So this will go through and keep damaging him while he's not dead and then as soon as it calls this function we say we're dead and it will try to run this code and it will say hang on a minute, you know, he's dead, we're not going to take any more um, health off him. So save that. And now we need to find a way to access that... that um, no, we don't. We don't need to do that at all. I think that should work fine. Hang on. Yeah. There we 
go. Perfect. So he's dead, and uh, we can't damage him anymore, and it's all good. That was pretty easy. Okay, that is quite a short and quick little tutorial to get us uh, off and running again. I'll make another one really soon. I think I'll do one... Um, yeah, I think I'll do one like a spawner or something so we can spawn our enemies in this level wherever we want and then you can uh, build on that system that we make and spawn a lot of other enemies. Um, yeah, we can we can do whatever you want. Just just leave a comment if you want us to um, cover something and we can, we can do that, no problem. So, yeah, we could do the spawner. I think we'll do that next. And obviously we still have our pistol and a lot of guns to add. We can animate this gun as well, you know, we've got a gun that we can animate, so we may as well animate that, but uh, we'll have to obviously add uh, UI for the bullets, and we'll do reloading, yeah, we have got hundreds of things we can do, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll catch up with you soon, cheers.